they're reminded of crying out to Hashem. So one of the purposes of illness, Rashi says, is to induce people to cry out to Hashem. That's a tremendous benefit. To cry out to Hashem is a tremendous benefit. Hashem is Shemaim Hishki, look down from the skies. Realize, a yesh maskil, then a wise man down below, there is this little king who's thinking about me. Hashem looks down, am I thinking about me? And everybody's thinking about Hashem, even good people. And therefore, sometimes he sends source for river. We should think about it. In those days, Mount High was a leader. He banged on the doors of the Chadol, in Yeshiva's Kedamas. He banged on the doors. And he said, take out this children and let them all cry out to Hashem. Even children. All Jewish nation cried out to Hashem. It was an event of the utmost importance. You know, one of the expressions of Tzvil is, by Yeta, he prayed to Hashem. I am tough rage. But yet they play and treat it. It's a queer word. <coughs> Where it comes from, but they root a yeta. I am tough place with a pitchfork. You want to pick up the straw with a pitchfork. You turn it upside down, turn the earth upside down. <coughs> when you pray to Hashem with really great fervor, then you can turn the gazay upside down. The evil decree can be turned upside down. We have to cry out. And he cried out so long in the bottom of the hearts that Hashem turned it upside down. From the tragedy, our most terrible tragedy for them in the Tretanam, it became a great symptom that every year you celebrated in the most wild happiness. The worst tragedy turned out the most wildest happened for the wildest day of the year. And how did it happen? But they cried out to us. I want to say something. <laughs> Not everybody likes to hear this. I was in Europe. Just before Hitler came into Russia, Lithuania, and Poland, I was there. In the yeshivas, they were frightened to death. The yeshivas were misfollowed. Cry out to us. But how big were the yeshivas compared to the general population? Nothing. I dropped in the ocean. The general population did not come together to cry out to Hashem. Why not? Everybody read the newspapers. And the newspapers were all run by atheists. All the newspapers. There were very many newspapers. I was here. There was one full newspaper, the Valshiva Togabad, from the Gera Hasidim. But otherwise, there's so many wicked newspapers. Prophet Chaim said, because of the newspapers, a bias, a shayish or mess. In a single house, we won't find a mess. A mess means somebody is spoiled. People are spoiled. The problem was ruined by the newspaper. And there was no outcry. Come together, a public fest. The newspapers were in charge. Didn't enter their mind. Atheists. So straight out to Hashem. They all run against Hitler. They made me more angry. The newspapers. <coughs> Both letters, editorials, articles against Hitler. But did they have one word about crying out to Hashem. Hashem said, look, I'm trying to make wake them up. That's what happened. That's what happened. Had they cry out to Hashem, it wouldn't have happened. It wouldn't have happened. <coughs> Their purpose was to cry out to Hashem. That's a purpose of silence. And I was there. They cried out to Hashem. Anyhow, in the days of Homer, it would have been the same thing. Only they cried out. They cried out. They cried out. But it's the oracle of the law. I've lived on my end for a long time. We fasted. And Hashem heard and said, all right, I accomplished my purpose. I don't need any solace. 